straight away get to the news about our visit to uh, Queen Street. Yes, it was very. It, I thought it was very positive. Yes. It, I I thought we were well listened to. Yes. I thought he took my. I think, I think he took um, points of view on board, especially my points of view, and I believe that it's going to go back to how I wanted. Oh well, now John, you might be you might be right. Well, but let me let me just let me just explain that a little bit. So this this is um, a meeting with Will Pratt, who's from the Transport Department of uh, Devon County Council. Well, yes, yes, he, he, he works is. with Exeter County Council as well. I mean, he takes their views on board, yes. and uh, they they want some change in Queen Street, but it turns out the the crossing, uh, the reason the lights are not working at the moment is is because of the extraordinary expense it would be on a temporary basis. Yes, but I believe that they're going to um, make some kind of uh, alternative crossing or connect the previous, cr- the former crossing that isn't working back up. So they're either going to do one or the one or one or the other. So there will be a there will be a crossing either put in somewhere else or there will be the crossing reenacted, re- reactivated where it is. Um, which I was very pleased about because I was I was I I was I'm, I was very pleased about because I was very very concerned about um, people with handicapped and blind people getting um, getting across the roads and uh, I I um, and uh, I didn't think it was very fair that. Um, if they were going to keep it the way it was, I, 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 I didn't really, like, I didn't like the idea of it because um, it would have mean that uh, it, it would have just been more complicated. And I was um, speaking to um, various, I've spoken to various other people um, over the last couple of weeks about it, and I mean after the meeting, and they don't like the way the way uh, Queen Street is currently but I would just like to say to people that it's only a temporary measure yeah as it, as it is and and also to make it permanent they'd have to do quite a lot of work to the pavement yes but all in all on, it's... Uh, so can I just say, say John on the, on, the, on the museum side because it's so close to the museum they've got to keep all those uh, pavement blocks in the right style well, yes, which is, so to change it all would be quite expensive. Which is quite wonderful that they have well, to keep it. <laughs> it helps they, your case. That they all have to keep it in the right style because it's probably listed and uh, and it helps my case tremendously. And I did, it's just nice to be listened to and it's nice to think that it is going to go back to the, the kind of the original fashion. Well, that's what, uh, that's what we think. Uh, we, well... We, th- well, we think it's quite likely, but I think look, it's important. John, can I just say, if, if, pe- if people agree with you, it, it, they it, should support that it, point because it, it, it's not a it, decision. No, but it is, but it is important. It, it, but it is also important to say, even if it doesn't go back to the, the original fashion or way completely, there will be a Pelican Crossing either where the museum is outside of the museum or somewhere else I've made that I've made that quite a serious issue and he seems to be on board about that yeah I think that, I think that's true and I would also like to say that local businesses are interested in the wonderful flower beds that's in the middle of Green Street yeah so they will find suitable homes they will find suitable homes I did make I did say I did I did comment on the flower beds didn't I I did say that they would be better off in um, somewhere like Bedford Square or somewhere in um, Princess Hay. Uh, yes, uh, yes. I, I mean, I, just personally, I don't mind the flower beds, but I do know that you or well, flower containers, let's say. But you, well, re- you really don't like them, do you? Well, I, I just, I just don't think they look very good in the middle of the road. I, I, I would. I, it's not that I don't like them. I think, I think they'd be better off in, in, um, in, in somewhere like the. Uh, Somewhere like Princess Hay or the Cathedral, somewhere in town, not not in the middle of Queen Street Road where all these cars are going. No, well, the, the, it, it the, just uh, it's not it just doesn't it doesn't it, it it most of all it's not very good looking. No, well, it's unusual. It is very unusual. I've never 
in all the years I've lived here, I've never seen flower beds be used in the way they are being used in 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 terms of being used for traffic. No, but what 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 he explained was was that uh, they did have complaints from from Magdalen Road where they used metal barriers, and people didn't like them. So they thought the the flower containers would would be more acceptable. Yeah, but th they are quite acceptable in a way. I wouldn't say. Look, to make it quite clear to people, because my partner leads me off in a stray. Um, I I wasn't very happy with the current situation being a being a long term scheme. I was I was very very happy when he turned around and said to me that it was a short term scheme. I don't know how long the work's gonna take. It might be there for the foreseeable uh, future, um, but it's not going to be a long-term scheme. So eventually, the people of Exeter we will see uh, a new scheme be put in place of the old one. Yeah, and and it seems to us very 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 likely. But it was that all I all I'm saying is that it was very very nice for 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 for, for Devon County Council to listen to our concerns and. Uh, it was a very very nice conversation with him actually. We we also spoke to him about the uh, exercise bikes outside Central Station that you can um, download the an app and you can actually uh, yeah the ele electric bikes he, yes which I think it's all um, very 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 good for the uh, uh, city and uh, I would also like to uh, mention that if you live around the Whipton area where I live you've got oh you, there's a El there's a Audi just before just after Sainsbury's. And uh, they've got electric bikes outside there as well. Oh, really? Yes. They, um, and it's quite amazing that I think we are going to see more and more electric bikes in other cities. You imagine so, uh, wa somebody walking like you, you could you could think, oh, I can't be bothered to walk today. I want to go to Dawlish or somewhere. You could actually cycle all the way down to Dawlish. Uh, yeah, yeah he, he reckons the battery would get to Dawlish and back. Well, yes, I think it would as well because if you think, if you think uh, about it, I think the bike is quite a big um, machine or complex or whatever you want to call it. Is uh, the battery's got to be um, quite sustainable? Yeah. Because people, yeah. people, pe I know the public pay quite a lot of money for those electric bikes, and obviously. That they cost quite a lot of money to be where they are, in terms of um, the public using them. I, I, I guess so. I think the battery has to be sustainable to to a point. It's probably in the best interest for the battery to be. If the battery wasn't sustainable as possible, then I don't think the 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 ex Devon, uh, Devon County Council would have gone to all the trouble of uh, of um, putting them there. No. No, it's quite a it's it's quite a, um a modern setup. I mean, I like the idea that you can just have a if you've got a smartphone and you've got this app that you can just say I want this bike and you can just you know press a button on your phone and pull it pull it out. I think it's quite unique and it's it's a look into the future. Um, I think in the next century or two, I think we're going to see computerized driverless cars well that's cool hmm, I would say we're going to see it definitely in the next 10 years because they're around already but the, the um, it's electric cars and then it will be self driverless cars so probably in about 40 years time we'll see driverless cars